he asks them <clears throat> first, who do people say? Then he asks them, who do you say that I am? You are the ones that have been with me. You're the ones that I've taught. You're the ones that I've poured into for three years straight. Now, who do you say that I am? And with all boldness, Peter stands up and he says, you are Christ, the son of the living God. I love Peter with a passion. Like this guy, he, he's everything that I believe I am. He's so flip floppy. He's so flip floppy. This char he's a character. Like from from the miracle with the boats and the fish and you know from him walking on water, all these things like and Peter stands up and he's like, "Man, you are Christ, the son of the living God." And he says, "Man, blessed are you. You are blessed, man. You are blessed." And now you are Peter because he calls him Simon Barjona. Which means, or Simon, which means reed, blows in the wind. Just goes like that, just like us. We're just kind of like, uh. <laughs> One day we're just like, yeah, I believe in Christ. Yes, you're my Lord, you're my Savior, and all these things. And then the next thing, Jesus, why are you doing this to me? Is that God? Yeah, are you there? Like, and you go into this depression, and you're like, oh, my gosh. Like, are you real? Peter, Peter. So... Anyways, so he says, blessed are you, Simon Barjona. Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. Nothing revealed this to you. There was no book that you read. There's no theology that came to you. But only God the Father revealed this to you. He calls him Peter now. And he says, you are a rock. Peter meaning rock or stone, pebble, I don't know. But meaning rock, he says, now, Peter, and on this rock will I build my church. Now, man, growing up, growing up, looking at this scripture, man, or knowing this portion of scripture, I'm just like, I've always thought that, man, it's on the rock, Peter, that he builds the church on. I've always thought that. I've always thought, man, because Peter, you know, after denying him, being the flop that he is, after denying him three times, but, you know, he is the one that first preaches the sermon. The Holy Spirit comes down on the day of Pentecost. Everything is wild, like miracles are happening. And we're thinking, like, man, I'm thinking, whoa, like, this is the foundation. This is the rock that Christ was talking about in this scripture that he's going to build the church on. But in studying and not in, in just really reading and understanding this portion of scripture, if we look at it, blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh did not reveal these to you, but the Father in heaven. And I tell you, Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it what we must understand is that jesus christ is our foundation jesus christ is the rock jesus christ is the bedrock of our faith he is our foundation so when jesus christ asks this question and peter says you are the son of the living god jesus christ says you're right and it's upon that revelation that God gave you that I will build my church upon. The revelation of me being Jesus Christ, me being the rock, me being the foundation, that is where my church will stand. Because we must understand as Christians, if we don't believe that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God, we believe nothing. We have nothing. As, Christian, as, as Christianity, as Christians, we stand upon this foundation that Christ, Jesus Christ, is God. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. And when this is revealed to Peter, and Peter says, you are Christ, the Son of the living God, Jesus Christ says, yes, you're absolutely right. And, because, and at that revelation, that's where my church will stand.